there's the time I started working with youth from Mukuru. I worked with a group of youth uh, called Oasis. They were <laughs> they were the forty thugs and also security from <laughs> Mukuru Kwaruben, thug stroke security and when we went to mobilize, the chief gave us the, those 40 to be enumerators. And half of them were not educated, so they were illiterate. And somehow we had to incorporate them into the, into the team of enumerators, give them roles so that we would be able to do enumerations in that area. And so we, yeah, we incorporated them, we had a lot of drama where they'd fight in the field with uh, pangas, the machetes, because uh, they were high uh, on bang, so uh, at times they'd fight each other. But yeah, that passed. <laughs> we completed the enumerations well. We got a bigger team from the community. But what was touching for me is they had a very, they still have a very big space in Mukuru. They had a big field where they had a small hall, the usual, that's why they'd carry out all their crazy activities. And uh, introducing them to one of the youths I had worked with in Madare, uh, called Kaka. So I linked up with Kaka. Kaka, they, they are in Langokubwa. They do waste collection, recycling of plastics. They had football tournaments for kids. They had a social hall where they had a screen and would charge people to watch the Premier League. So. I took them for an exchange to Mlango Kubwa and once they went there and interacted with the youth and they learned all that and like three years or four years later I went to Mukuru and I met one of them and he told me just come and see what we've been doing you just disappeared come and see and I found they had a very nice hall they had a community public toilet which they were charging they had the screen and the seats they had replicated a lot they had seen from Mlango Kubo, which was so touching for me. At least you very small acts like those exchanges can really change even the youths in what they're doing. But also what was interesting is <laughs> I not only took them for an exchange where they do all these nice things, so they linked up with <laughs> a gang from Mlango Kubo and also started hijacking cars <laughs> along Madare Juja Road. <laughs> so, yeah, the exchange was very good. It touched in the positive <laughs> and also in the, in the negative. So there's a positive out of it because like somebody like Song, who's working with Patu on the schools and the sanitation, Song and a few others, like five or ten of them, who reformed, have, are doing the right things in the community. But there's also that crazy part that you took them for an exchange and they also exchanged ideas with other gangs. <laughs>